Welcome to the Ogles Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, December has been a special month for Nintendo. Not only did they give us four new SNES games for the Nintendo Switch Online service, they also gave us two NES games on the NES Online service. And within this, it is a uh, Crystallis and Journey to uh, Silas, Silius, if I'm saying it right, I'm not sure. Now, Crystallis, I've never had either of these games as a kid, and we're going to load each of them up and just sort of see how they play through and what they're all about. Now, Crystallis, I've had a lot of people recommend this game over time, and I just simply have never tried it. Uh, now, of course, we got the basic storyline setting up here about civilization being destroyed, some evolutions taking place, um, creatures being mutated, life would never be the same. Of course, it wouldn't be a uh, catastrophic video game without thing making things sound as horrible as possible. Uh, it looks like they uh, erected this tower in the sky to float away in and try to oppress evil forever. Now, that's a fine little story. I'm liking this little music that starts up. A nice little dance tune. So we'll click start. See what this is all about. No, all right, start. Look at those graphics, that's pretty cool looking. I like that little dragon. 100 years have passed, most of the earth has been dominated by mutated creatures. All right, looks like some sort of dragons, like we already saw. I like the graphics of this quite a bit. People worked together to rebuild their villages and their lives, but they still lived in fear. As they feared the rebirth of evil, they remembered the construction of the tower and its consequences once activation had begun. All right. The, once evil emerged, would they still stand a chance? There was still one hope. All right. Let's see if we can get to the um, gameplay a little bit so you guys can see how this game would actually play out. All right. Let's. Yeah, well, oh, 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 oh. There's our name selection. And you know what we always name ourselves. We always go with Ogles. I guess, or in this case, we're going to go with, since I typed it wrong, Glug. 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 Glugo. Okay, so let's see how Glugo is doing. Uh, these are pretty impressive graphics for the NES system. I will say that. Uh, we got our meters down below of our life and our force and our level. So I guess you actually have to level up. All right, seems like a pretty standard little adventure game. All right, hey, there's a guy coming out of the cave. That would be Glugo. All right, so it looks, looks like you can you walk around. Uh, this is the village of Leaf. How peaceful. There are great dangers outside of town. Please be careful. Well, you know me. I would obviously be careful. There's the inn. That's probably our safe spot, according to most of these old ones here. The wind here is always cold, but we're used to it. Uh, it does look sort of chilly. All right, that's our shop. I don't want to buy anything right now. Now, I will say, this is a um, beautiful game for the uh, NES. Um, and within this, the music's very pleasant. So we're going to go out here into the uh, main terrain here. So is it an RPG or is it action? Okay, it's definitely action. I just don't have the item yet. So there's probably a sword or something back here I was supposed to pick up. Let's go back into the main town. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I got the Sword of Wind. Just what I was hoping for. How do I use the sword? Um, he said I had it. There we go. Got it. And we're going to save the game, I guess. Okay. All right. I am officially ready to go out here and battle some creatures. There's some little blob. I think he should be called a Glugo. All right, you get that. It's sort of like um, Legend of Zelda, except <laughs> way better graphics on the NES. Well, I can see myself playing this, you know, at some point, you know, getting more into it. And you can sort of see how it plays out. It's just a overhead uh, game, very similar to Zelda. Um, looks like you collect money as you go, obviously to purchase things. That looks like a church. All right. Well. That's Crystallis. I mean, like, I'm not going to go through a whole lot of the game, but you can obviously see right there how it plays out. 
you know, you go through, you um, battle these bad guys. It's probably, it seems like it probably has more um, RPG elements than a regular Legend of Zelda game. But uh, the adventure of it seems pretty top notch. I mean, you got a whole uh, pretty detailed character system set up. Zebu, talking to Gluggo. Um, so, I mean, yeah. I'd give Crystallis another try at some point, you know, dive more into it, but I think you guys should also give it a go. But let's go ahead and load it up for our purposes here. Um, Journey to um, Silius? Silius? One or two. Sunsoft, 1990 Nintendo. Let's see what kind of game we have here. All right. Also starts out, oh my gosh, a nuclear bomb. After many years of space colony development, Jay's father had passed away. Okay. Man, this is a depressing game. The evening news reported that Jay's father's death that it was an accident. Something leads me to believe it wasn't an accident. Several days later, Jay finds a floppy disk left in his father's room. I love that it's a floppy disk. It just, just dates the game so, so perfectly. Um, I'll hear the I hear the terrorists are planned against the colony, colony development. The storyline is pretty pretty great. I don't know where like some of these SN or NES games were like when I was a kid. Like, you know, these are some pretty great. I haven't played it yet, but Crystallis and this they both seem like pretty great games so far. At least the storyline on this is great. Man, so there's a vengeful story here. All right, stage one. All right, this is pretty standard. So it's sort of like Contra. That's like, well, you can't tilt your gun. I guess it's more like Mega Man. So it's like, yeah, I'd definitely say this is a, um, oh, you can bend down. Okay. So this is Contra meets Mega Man. I really wish you could shoot up, but then it would just be Contra. Even the music like sounds like Mega Man to me. Is this the great Mega Man game that we never had? It's hard to believe this was not made by uh, Capcom. Holy crap. That was a big old rocket. My gosh, those things just like blast me. I am I supposed to duck down. I don't know, this game's winning me over pretty darn quick. This must have been like one of those rare games on Nintendo. That gummit! Keep taking those rockets to the chest. Well, I can't see myself getting past level one on the first go. And it's really not that difficult of a game. It's just I, I just sort of rushed in a little bit too quick. Yeah, look at that. Jay passed away. Alright, let's try again. Music's good. Gameplay's pretty solid. I don't know. I'm liking this one a lot. There we go. What's this? We already had a boss. Wasted no time. Alright. What in the uh, main boss in Contra on the first level? Helicopter. All right. Well, didn't make it. That's okay though. Um, do I start back there? All right. Let's give it one more try. We don't want to be a quitter. Come on. We know how to play games. All right. Here we go. Should we drop some sort of little uh, funky-looking alien? I'm just gonna hang out here in the corner. That seems pretty safe. A little bit. Can he hit me in the corner? Yes, he can. I thought maybe the corner was, um, you know, resistant to all alien creatures. All right, two aliens down, third alien on the way. I assume it's definitely not human creatures. Wow, guess I showed that helicopter who was boss. <sighs> <laughs> a little victory dance. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, 
coming back. I guess he did not enjoy my victory dance. What am I supposed to shoot? Oh, uh, a little purple thing up there. Oh! Now I showed the helicopter. Who was boss? There we go. Look at that little pose. That pose is, I know what I'm doing. Stage two. All right. Look how talented we are at this game. Let's bend down, take out some more uh, robot scum. Upgrade. Just what I wanted. Upgrade. Oh, that was tricky. So it's like a... Um, I don't know, is it robots or is it aliens? Alright. I assume I'm still ahead of fall. Yeah, I mean, if you are a fan of Mega Man, then this game is 100% down your alley. It's um, just as... Well, I don't know if it's just as good as any Mega Man. I love my Mega Man games, but... Clearly, this is on the same same level of, of Mega Man. And if I was really taking my time, I could probably do a, a whole lot better. But as a quick little playthrough. Ah! I got it. Ah, game over. That's okay. That's uh, but that shows you what it's like. Journey to uh, Cilius, Cilius, however you want to say it. Um, Seems like a classic 2D side scroll for the NES. Um, if you're looking for a fun game to play, you know, just sort of kill some time or try to journey through it, I akin it to Mega Man and Contra sort of uh, squished together. So, of those two games, let's go back to the game selection. Uh, it depends on what you're in the mood for. If you're in the mood for more of a Zelda game, Crystallis, I'd definitely go with that. It looks cool. I like the, you know, of course, how it started out, how it started playing. But honestly, if I'm going to play one of the games, I could definitely see myself going back to Journey for it. Uh, Silius or Silius, once again, I don't know how to say it. But give those two games a try. These are, of course, our two new NES games for the month of December. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go out there, find you a great game to play, and as always, just have a great rest of the day.